to any of the actors on this list, but not everyone can be a triple threat or a double threat for that matter. And while everyone on this list has had a very successful career in the acting world, their turns as singers and musicians didn't exactly skyrocket. In fact, they mostly tanked. Luckily, most of us completely forgot about their attempts at a music career in the first place, until now, of course, because today we're breaking down all of the actors you forgot had failed music careers right here on Listed. Up first, it's been a while since we've seen Lindsay Lohan act in a movie, but it's been an even longer while since we saw her sing. Remember her music video for her single, Rumors? Well, you're about to. Lindsay dropped a couple albums in 2004 and in 2005, and a few of the songs, such as Rumors and Speak, weren't half bad. But with all the personal drama that came to Lindsay in the following years until now, it's probably safe to say her music career is long over. Up next is Jennifer Love Hewitt, who starred in 90s shows like Party of Five and movies like I Know What You Did Last Summer. But on the side, Jennifer was also attempting a pop career starting as early as 1995. One of her biggest hits, well, okay, her only hit was Bare Naked, which she released in 2002. On our list is an actress who didn't exactly try to start a solo singing career, but she did go pretty method for a movie in which she played a famous country music star. It's Gwyneth Paltrow who really sang on the soundtrack for her movie Country Strong in 2010. But I won't stay down long. She had a terrible voice, but honestly, the main problem with Gwyneth Paltrow having a fake country music career was that there doesn't seem to be a single country gene in Gwyneth's body. It's definitely not the brand she's selling on Goop, at least. Coming up next is a guy who, when you hear his name, music definitely isn't the word that comes to mind, but funny probably is. It's actor and comedian Eddie Murphy who released a string of albums from 1985 to 1993. You might not remember any of his songs, so I'll just give you a little taste right here with a little song called Party All The Time. Is it me or does that song just sound like someone threw up the entire decade of the 80s? But I can't move on with this list until I show you the most important part of that video. She left the all the time. Yeah. Yup, that's Rick James, bitch. And his hair definitely deserves its own sponsor. Coming up next on the list is a woman who isn't exactly a model musician, but she did give the word smizing to the world, so we'll forgive her. It's Tyra Banks whose song, Shake Your Body, featured a number of girls from the second season of America's Next Top Model, looking mostly uncomfortable. We love you, Tyra, but your voice doesn't exactly have our ears smizing. Next up is Brie Larson, who can call herself an Oscar winner today, but a pop star back in the day. Not so much. Brie's a clearly a talented singer, songwriter, but she probably made the right decision when she stopped trying to be the next Britney Alana's hybrid and started putting all of her energy into her acting career, don't you think? Next on our list is a girl whose singing career could probably be described as unfabulous. It's Emma Roberts, whose single, Dummy, came off the soundtrack for her Nickelodeon show, Unfabulous. isn't great, but if its objective is to get me wanting to go back and watch old episodes of Unfabulous, I gotta say, it got me. And finally, last but not least, as someone who is almost just as famous for her voice as she is for being an A-list actress, 
Scarlett Johansson's notoriously sexy speaking voice unfortunately didn't translate into an infamously good singing voice. Go on down, see that wrecking ball come swinging along. Everyone knew that hotel was gonna. I don't know if it's Scarlett's vocals or this weird trying to be artsy video, but this might actually be the worst attempt at a singing career on this entire list. Luckily for Scarlett, she is a fantastically talented and successful actress, so this one is pretty easy to forgive and forget. Hashtag sorry for the reminder though. Okay, so now I wanna know which of these actors do you think should have never attempted a music career in the first place? Who do you wish kept going and did we miss anyone who you think should be on the list? Let me know in the comments right down here and then after that you can click right over here to check out all the songs written about Taylor Swift. Thanks so much for hanging out with me on Listed. I'm your host, Shane DeFries, and I'll see you guys next time. For more clever videos, click to the left for stars who almost played iconic Disney Channel roles, or to the right to check out the craziest pop culture internet theories.